The water in a cylindrical pipe acts like an ideal fluid and flows with a constant flow rate as the pipe narrows. We want to find the pressure in the fluid at the narrow part of the pipe. The first thing we will do is find the cross-sectional area of the pipe at the first point. Remember to change the diameter into the radius. Here is the area at the first point. We also want to change the area at the second point into square meters, so we will divide 30 by 100 squared. Next we want to change the flow rate from liters per minute into meters cubed per second. Here is the conversion to get the correct units. We will use the equation of continuity to get the velocity at each point. The flow rate is constant, so in each case, area times velocity equals 4.17 times 10 to the minus fourth. First we will find V1. Rearranging the equation and substituting in our values gives us the velocity of the water at the first point. Now we will solve for V2. Again we rearrange and substitute and find our velocity at the second point. Bernoulli's equation will allow us to find the pressure at the second point. We will rearrange the equation to isolate P2. Now plug in our values, including the velocities we previously found, and solve for our unknown pressure.